So I'm the only candidate who can withstand the vicious media smear machine. It's a vicious group of people back there. And the dirty tricks that the Democrats have in store. Because remember, if I wasn't running, they'll do the same thing to whoever it is that is running. And you watch, they'll wilt like little babies. They're going to wilt like a beautiful rose. Uh, you watch, there's nobody else could take this crap, I want to tell you. There's nobody else to tell you. Just think of the field day Crooked Joe Biden and his media protectors would have. And they are protectors. They protect him. I mean, you see things that are so bad. I mean, he can't walk off a stage. He's looking for the stairs. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? This guy's negotiating nuclear with Putin. Where am I? They all grab, you know, you ever see, they, they said, Secret Service, by the way, is great. They run up at the stage to grab him because they're afraid he's going to fall off the front of the stage. No, the stairs are all over. We got three of them here. One there, one there, one there, right? And he doesn't know that. And uh, his speeches are not exactly good. They're very short, you know, because you run out of uh, octane, you know? <laughs> you run out. You ever notice he starts off, hurrah, MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. Oh, we're going to get MAGA. By the end of the speech, he's like, oh. They say, get him off the stage. He needs another. Whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to the cocaine? Whatever happened to whatever the hell it was that they had in the White House a couple of them? That was, <laughs> that was a strange event. That was a strange no, we're laughed at all over the world. We're laughed at. You know, look, I know the leaders of the world. I know them very well. Got along with most of them. The tougher they were, the better I got along. I don't know what that is. That's maybe something a little sad. But I got along with the toughest ones. Maybe that's the best thing. But uh, the ones that were weak and ineffective, I didn't actually get along with them as well. But they understood. But, you know, when you look at what we have here, can you imagine what they think when this guy walks into their office and he can't put two sentences together? And these guys are at the top of their game. They're all at the top of their game. And we have a guy that 30 years ago really wasn't very good. But now he's really bad. <laughs> now he's really bad. Just ask Ted Kennedy. Good old Ted Kennedy told me a long time ago, I was friends with him in Palm Beach. I said, Ted, let me ask you a question. Who's the smartest guy in the Senate? And he gave me an answer. I won't tell you who it was because I can't stand the guy, OK? <laughs> I said, who's the dumbest? Mm, yeah, I got along with him because I did him a big favor in Palm Beach. They had a house, the Kennedy Compound, a very rich family in Palm Beach. And I did him something that was a very nice favor, very, very nice. And for some reason, he never forgot it. He liked it. I liked him. He was uh, slightly left of me, like by about 200 degrees. <laughs> but he was a, a great guy, an entertaining guy. I said, so who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest guy in the Senate? And he goes like, uh, probably Joe. I said, who's Joe? He said, Joe Biden. He doesn't understand anything that's complex, like taxes, like, although he does understand, if you think about it, he does understand something about finance, because a lot of money pours into his account. <laughs> but he said, probably Joe, and I always remember that. That was a long time ago, 20, 25 years ago, long prior to his death, actually. But uh, he said, probably Joe. Who's Joe? Joe Biden. So. This is what we have, and now he's our president. And now he's our president at a reduced level, okay, at a reduced level. You know, we're dealing with the most complex and most powerful weapons in the world, and we have a man that has no idea what he's doing. And you'll end up in World War III. I'm the only one that can promise you that we will not end up in World War III. There's not going to be world wars, not with me. There's not going to be world wars. And we do that through strength, not through weakness.